On the famous album Blue Train, John Coltrane plays that G, that ninth, in the first round of his solo as his favorite note. When I listen to this solo, I hear that G as suspending the F chord. Really longing towards playing that F. First of all, excuse me, my voice is almost gone, I have a sore throat. But uh, let's do this video on upper structures. When we translate this G into chords and harmonics, <laughs> we get an F9, and now the magic starts to happen. If you're looking at upper structures, one of the upper structures to the F7 is a C minor 7 where the G is included. So we're ending up playing C minor going to F. That's the 2-5 progression. And when we're playing that C minor sound on that F chord, we get this suspended sound that really longing towards going to the F7, even though the F7 is the main chord. I really believe that Coltrane started his amazing sound journey using these suspensions, these upper structures in his sound and making this a part of his sound. Try using these suspensions or these upper structures on the blues, just try them out. It sounds amazing already, but let's take a step back and see how we can find these amazing sounds and amazing upper structures. Basic F7 chord is found in the B flat major scale on the fifth degree. I've just made a two octave F7 mixolydian scale, and this way we can start making the upper structure chord. In this super F chord, we have all the diatonic extensions. This also means we have all the upper structures. All these upper structures are all the chords and all the forms that are not including the root. The first upper structure, the obvious one, is the A half diminished chord on the F7. I really like this sound. The A half diminished 7 on the F7 gives us the F9 chord, the 9. And you hear in this lick that I'm using the A half diminished 7 on that F7 chord. I like the sound of the upper structures and also this A half diminished 7 chord because it takes us away from the heavy root. Everybody in the band is playing the root. Don't play the root, play the upper structures. It sounds much more here. I'm also using an upper structure on the B flat major chord, the D minor 7 chord. And this shows us from all the chords in the diatonic scale you can make these upper structures. These are basically the same chords as the diatonic chords, but you have to think them from the third of the original chord. When you're playing the upper structures, imagine the original root and the original function. Check out the lesson manual on Patreon, including all the licks and all the exercises needed for learning more about upper structures. Everything is of course in all 12 keys. When playing these higher upper structures on that F7 chord, <laughs> Do not avoid that clash between the B flat and the A. But I don't see it as a clash, I see it as a suspension. Well, you have to think the upper structures as a suspension of the chord, or an extension of the chord. You can really use that clash, making it really exciting. They are not really clashing, but they are suspended. The E flat major 7 is a great extension on C minor 7. The higher up you get in any of the upper structures, the further away you get from the root. The E flat major 7 takes you away from that C chord. Remember when you're looking at the whole picture, this huge chord we just spelled out, there are so many possibilities. Try finding new ways and find out how you can use the upper structures. Here's a small example on how I use different upper structures on the minor chord. On C minor I'm playing a G minor chord and the E flat chord. To give you another example, I'm just changing the direction of these two chords, the G minor and the E flat, both played on the C minor 7 chord. If you want to get closer to these upper structures, take the first step and download the lesson manual on Patreon, full of exercises and licks covering the upper structures. When you're looking at all the diatonic chords, you might wonder what fits where, what upper structures belong to which chords, because I'm using a bunch of them. Many of the upper structures really hold some avoid notes, but they are actual suspensions. So we have to think about this, do we want the suspended chord or an extension chord. And in this 
this example, you see I'm using the E flat major chord on the C minor, but I'm also using the E flat major chord on the F7, which in the end tells us that when we are detaching ourselves from the root and from the chord functions, we really need to focus on the melodic line and the leading tones. Where am I actually going with this line? <laughs> And here that the lines between changing the chords right at the bar line becomes more and more vague in this way. But you also see that the lines becomes much more fluid and not so down to earth. They come more up there. You need the leading tones, you need the melodic line, and you need the guide tone lines. And you see that in this line I'm using the A half diminished seven on C minor seven, whereas the A half diminished seven is the upstructure of F seven. <laughs> And on F7, I'm using the G minor triad cell, which is basically an upstructure of the C minor chord. Checking out the line, I have filled in the chords, the basic chords differently. I'm now having a C minor F7, F7, C minor, F7, going into B flat major in the last bar. But I'm basically playing over normal two, five, one, C minor, F7, B flat. I'm playing different functions now. So I'm playing two, five in the first bar, five, two in the second bar, five in the third bar, one in the last bar. The upper structures make me change the functions I'm playing, even though the rhythm sections probably playing two, five, one. When you start thinking about this and start playing in the upper structures, a whole new world opens up to you. And I really want to help you get a good start playing the upper structures. Download the lesson manual on Patreon and get the 50 plus pages full of licks and full of exercises that really lead you towards the upper structure sound. Check out more Coltrane and check out more other structures in these two videos. Play music, have fun.